everyone, welcome to the channel. I am baking my way through the Great British Baking Show cookbook, Love to Bake. And today we are hitting Paul Hollywood's very own jam and custard donuts. Who doesn't love a good donut? Okay, let's get going. Um, first off, I've got 125 milliliters of um, milk that I have just warmed up gently. And I am just going to pour it into this bowl. It says jug. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, and then I'm going to beat in one large egg. Now I'm just going to set that to the side. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I've got 250 grams bread flour in a mixing bowl all ready to go. And I'm going to add 35 grams of unsalted, cubed, and softened butter. And now I am also going to add 5 grams of yeast, 5 grams of fine salt, along with 25 grams of caster sugar. Stir until combined. I'm just gonna stir with my hands because it literally the very next thing says to stirring by hand form a dough. So let's form a dough. I'm also gonna slowly add my milk mixture. So the milk and egg, I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. It does say to knead for four minutes um, after you've got it all together to bring it together. It is quite liquidy, um, and it does say in the very next step that it will be quite sticky at this stage. So I guess that's where we're at. <laughs> okay, I do want to lightly flour my work surface. Okay, and then turn it out. And then I'm going to knead for 10 minutes until it's smooth and elastic. But it does say it's super sticky at this stage, so I definitely have super sticky. Okay, that's looking really smooth. Um, it's really elastic. Okay, so what I need to do is put it in a clean bowl and I'm going to cover it with a damp tea towel and let it rise for 45 minutes. That is still rising. Uh, we're going to make the creme mousseline now while that's going. So I've got some milk back here, a 250 milliliters of milk warming on low heat. What I'm going to do in my mixing bowl is I'm going to whisk two large egg yolks, just the yolks, um, and 40 grams of caster sugar, and it just says whisk until combined. Okay, now I'm going to add 15 grams of plain flour and 15 grams of corn flour and whisk until smooth. And then I need to whisk in vanilla extract and salt. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and just a pinch of salt. Okay, now here's where the directions get a little funny. It says to pour a quarter of the warm milk into the egg mixture. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball this and whisking continuously. And then pour the mixture back into the pan of warm milk. Okay, back into the pan of warm milk. Okay, now it says to turn, return this to a medium heat. So I'm gonna turn this up because it was just on low heat. Um, and I'm whisking continuously until the mixture begins to boil. Okay, and then cook for two to three minutes to a thick custard consistency. Okay, it never boiled, but it's definitely at a thicker consistency. Um, so I'm going to remove it from the heat now. So I have 40 grams of unsalted butter that is chilled, and it says to stir it in. Okay, now I'm just going to transfer it to a, a heat-proof bowl, so just a mixing bowl. It's supposed to cool down to room temperature. Now that the creme mousseline is at room temperature, I have another 40 grams of softened butter that was cubed and I just, with a wooden stick and muscle power, um, creamed it so that it's nice and pale and creamy. And I'm gonna add it to my creme mousseline, mousseline and then we just whisk this until smooth. It's nice and smooth. That's what we're gonna fill our donuts with as soon as we shape them. Okay, there's my dough for the donuts. Um, now what I do need to do is divide this into six equal portions. This says about 70 grams each, which I really appreciate um, that they gave me a size that they should be. Um, usually they just say something like, divide them equally. My donuts are closer to 75 grams a piece. Um, that's okay, bigger donut. Um, all right, and now I'm just going to form each portion into a 15 centimeter long finger shape. 15 centimeters long is about six inches, which is more my speed. 
about six inches, right? Okay. And then I'm just going to place them on this flowered baking tray so they can rise again. There they go. Uh, it says to put them in a proving bag if you have one. So I'm just going to throw these in a big plastic bag and then let them rise for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been well over 30 minutes. Um, I've also been heating up my oil. There are my donuts. They're looking pretty good. Um, so my oil is in my pot here, heating up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. I've also got a shallow dish with some castor sugar in it that I'm gonna roll my donuts in as soon as they are done frying. Um, but I think I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to put my donuts in one or two at a time. I'll probably just start with one and uh, start frying them up. It says about three minutes on each side. So I'm just gonna carefully lower one in. and let them go okay it was more like two minutes on that side but they're looking really good in color so i'm gonna give them a flip these are definitely more like two minutes on either side donuts because they're looking really good and golden so i'm going to take one and i'm going to roll it in my caster sugar not really sure how you're supposed to do this when it's like literally burn your fingers hot especially since the caster sugar is literally just going to melt but this is what it says this is what those look like uh yeah the rolling in the caster sugar is a little weird i don't know they'll taste great looks are just always questionable well there they are i got them all dusted again the caster sugar just did not want to stay all pretty and fine um, I'm going to let those cool completely before I slice them in half and fill them up with our fillings. Okay, my donuts are cool, so I'm just going to slice them in half. Not all the way through, but just enough to where I can pipe in some stuff. Okay, now I'm just going to pipe my creme mousseline into my donuts. And I definitely don't think that this setup Oh, no, definitely did not set up as much as it should have. This is a mess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These are going to be some super messy donuts. Okay, guys, that did not set like it was supposed to. I'm pretty sure I didn't boil it long enough. It is what it is. <laughs> and now these wouldn't be jam and custard donuts without a little bit of jam. Now, you can make your own jam. I elected not to. It is store-bought. I just kind of whipped it a little bit just to make sure it was nice and smooth. And I'm just piping a little bit into each donut. We have some super messy, but I assume very delicious donuts. Okay, these are super messy. Uh, yeah, that um, did not set. <laughs> I got one, so it wasn't quite as bad. So here we go. You know, Still a good donut. Yeah, that's good. I don't really care that it didn't set because it's still tasty. It's just going to be a little messy to eat. So that was my latest bake on my Great British Baking Show, Love to Bake Cookbook. I'd pick it up, but my hands are super dirty. Um, it was from Paul Hollywood himself. Sorry that I <laughs> did not do that correctly, Paul. Anyway, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can see when my next bake comes out. And I will, as always, see you next bake. See you next bake.